from Borki. I'm a member of the Fritschi team who makes touring bindings in Switzerland. I'm here with Backcountry Ski in Canada and I'm happy to explain you our latest uh, binding the light in the lightweight category. Imagine this tiny binding only weights 280 grams and what I would like to do it now is I would like you to explain the features. Because for Fritchie, reliable release and power transmission always are very important also in the lightweight bindings and with this binding we can also um, fulfill the needs of a big part of the community who wants more for the community where the lightweight is more important. Let me show what is different of this binding. We have to hold the boot we have a horizontal system that moves horizontally and this system is very stable against impacts from vertical impacts especially from under the ski so the boot is safely hold in all situations always in ski position this is a very important point staying here you have a very easy step in this position is only an optical aid that helps you to position the boot in the right position you step smoothly on this large pedal and you are in the inserts the stepping is also easy at the end at the back because we have here rotating pins that reduce the friction when stepping in let us come also to the safety points for Fritchi it is very important that we have a Dean setting for the vertical release and the Dean setting for the lateral release. That means we have here two different springs, a very strong one for the vertical release and a less strong one for the lateral release. And of course these are adjustable infinitely for both lateral and vertical release. This is important to have a proper release as for the um, uh, as our different forces are acting. Another important part, important thing for the for a good functioning of the release is the elasticity of the binding for the ski. That means the length compensation. The heel part glides back, can glide back 10 millimeter and helps so to compensate the flex of the, the ski by not giving too much, having not giving pressure on the boot and so assuring in all skiing situations means flex of the ski uh, a constant uh, pressure allowing a reliable release at the values set another point that people often forget when we are talking about release is that for classical um, pin bindings you have the lateral release at the back and the vertical release in the front when you have a vertical release the, the pins glide over the edge of the of the let me think of the insert of the back then the boot is released at the back swivels forward and with the nose of the boot it pressures here on this lever that functions by for every pin binding the same way and then the binding releases the boot finally and what is 
specific on the Fritchy bindings is that the boot is released already at an angle of starting from 65 degrees means you are sure to come out of the binding on time. Also, the handling is important. It is very easy to switch mode. You use the climbing aid as lever and you can turn the back unit in no, doesn't matter what direction. You don't need to put, to touch the, um, the brake because with the first step the brake stays in this position and you can climbing up. You see also another point we have here for the crampen, a solution that is open for other crampons too. We'll see from other binding the crampons will fit. Of course we have also the according crampon for the uh, Fritchie crampon for the Xenic 10.